Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Welcome to the Wacky Worm series. Today we're talking about a little itty bitty moth, a little different than what we're used to. It's the Bumilia webworm moth, Barotus parvula. Uh, it can be a red bay pest. I think you're gonna be interested in this one if you care about red bay trees. Check this out. The Bumelia webworm moth is a small moth, probably about a three quarter inch wingspan. It's a gray moth with almost no markings whatsoever. Uh, the hind wing is translucent in its coloration, but it's gray as well. And when they're at rest, the wings actually curl around the body uh, very tightly. This species of moth lives throughout the southeastern United States and is polyphagous. That means it eats many, many different types of plants, including Bumelia, hibiscus, uh, it eats oaks, it eats uh, citrus, and what we're experiencing in here in South Florida is it loves Persea plants, uh, trees in the bay family. I have a red bay and a swamp bay, and every spring, Bromelia webworm moths come and completely defoliate both of my bay trees. It's kind of frustrating if you're trying to raise Palamedes swallowtails or spicebush swallowtails. While the Bumelia webworm is definitely considered a pest uh, to many species of plants, the immature life cycle is actually pretty cool in several areas, so we'll explain that in a second. The caterpillars in and of themselves, not that spectacular, they're tan in color, but when you go and approach them, they, if you disturb them, they'll quickly jump off the plant and bungee jump on a piece of silk, uh, and they'll hang three to four feet down uh, and it's amazing how quick they can produce this silk and they'll they'll just jump bungee jump down hang on this silk and when their perceived threat is gone they'll climb back up the silk thread and start eating again on the plant pretty cool but by far the most interesting part of the life cycle of this moth is the pupa stage when the caterpillar is ready to pupate it spins this incredibly ornate uh, fishing net looking uh, cocoon where it rests its pupa in, or pupates inside of this net. And if you look at it, it's incredibly ornate and any fisherman would be very impressed with the architecture of this structure. Uh, very cool bug, very cool moth, a pest in South Florida. It's not very pretty as an adult, sorry folks, but uh, not, every, not every butterfly moth is that pretty to look at. But they serve as a great uh, food source for a lot of birds and other insects. In fact, I found a great deal of parasitization in, this, in the immature stages of the species. And when the moths start emerging from their cocoons, uh, birds come from everywhere and they start having a field day eating the adult moths as they're flying around. So uh, even though they're kind of annoying when they defoliate your trees, they serve their purpose in the ecosystem just like uh, every other creature out there. So guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, uh, like it down below. That helps out our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell for notifications. That way, when we put out new videos like this, you'll get them in real time. Uh, join our Keys Moths family. Don't forget to check out our website. www.keysmoths.com. Uh, see you out there in the field sometime. Let's get out there. Enjoy South Florida. Thank you.